Welcome to the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zarathustra, your host, and I'm broadcasting live from my new home in Tulum, Mexico. Uh, I have recently migrated uh, to Mexico, and I'm very excited about it, uh, starting, starting a new life here. And uh, really enjoy living uh, among my Mexican brothers, sisters, which are really, really sweet and beautiful people. And I look forward to get to know them better and looking forward to learn the language. So hopefully, maybe next year, this time, I can also broadcast in Spanish. We'll see what happens. Now, the um, topic of the day is, I'm going to talk about the Yani. Yani in Sanskrit means knowledge, wisdom. A yani like Ramana Maharshi, uh, an enlightened, fully realized being, like Mamri Tananda Mai, the hugging mother, um, uh, Papaji, my teacher, was a Yani, Muktananda, Nim Karoli Baba. These, these are all uh, were Yanis that they had come to the ultimate wisdom. And in that realization and that oneness with the source, they also are freed from the cycle of birth and rebirth. And which um, there's been many, many different yanis throughout the history of this planet. I don't know them all. I know some of them. Um, and I know stories like, for example, the way uh, Rumi met his master, Shams. It's a very interesting story. I'm going to explain it to you. Um, but basically, um, there aren't many Yanis on this planet, uh, not that I know of, there are a few. Um, it's a very rare situation that happens with a human being that reaches the ultimate state. Uh, for example, Ramana Maharshi, and uh, once one arrives at that place, um, what happens normally is there is the disillusion of the I thought that the sense of being an individual entity separated from the source, the sense of the me dissolves. And there's no longer this sense of me as a separate entity. So the entire source is operating through that person. And um, many different things can happen when they do arrive at that place. And uh, because they're empty, they're pure, and the big kahuna is completely operating through them. And of course, there is immense uh, power of an energy field which is created around the yani. Um, they say that the Buddha, after enlightenment, um, wherever the Buddha went, in a radius of 12 uh, kilometers, uh, all beings were affected by its presence. Wherever the Buddha went, within 12 kilometers radius would affect the environment. It would affect the human beings, the plantations, the uh, animals. It would sense that there is a powerful being around. And uh, the Yanis, they emanate a deep, powerful uh, energy field of silence. So when you do come close to them in their field, uh, naturally it 
sucks you into a deep inner peace or may drive you crazy. You may just activate your mind immensely. My experience of being around Papaji, uh, Punjaji, my, my sad guru uh, was very, very powerful and many different things would happen. And uh, in the beginning I would, I had the experience like my mind would just go like crazy as if you are going at 500 kilometers uh, driving uh, per hour and the mind was just going crazy. Like I've never experienced that. And I did experience going into a deep silence of absolutely no thoughts and being in this very powerful blissful state. Uh, many, many different things would happen uh, being around the yani. Uh, many miracles can happen. Uh, basically a true yani does not claim any kind of the miracles that happen as their own doing, um, they disclaim it. But people can get healed, uh, all kinds of things can happen. Things can get manifested and appear out of nowhere. Um, it's just the possibilities are infinite of different things when you are around these people. Another uh, beautiful thing that happens is in association with the yani, your sat guru, the one, the awakened one, the fully realized one, is also, they have the power of eating up your karma. And by being around them, a lot of your karma starts to burn. So sometimes it could be painful, uh, it may put you in a place of really processing a lot of old stuff, uh, but it does create like a, a grid gets activated. And when you're in their energy field, things start to speed up. And uh, it's, like, um, it's like if you put a piece of meat that's got a lot of fat, around it and you put it on a grill and the grill is really hot it's a barbecue and you put this piece of meat let's say like a ribeye steak and what happens is the meat starts to cook the fat starts to melt and burn so it burns all the fat the, the fire or if you have a piece of a raw diamond and when they're mining and they pull out diamonds and these diamonds, they need to be polished. They need to be purified. They need to be cleaned up. So the diamond that they pull out from the mine is very different than the one you see in, in a jewelry store. Um, it, it has been cleaned up, purified, polished. And that also what happens to us in our spiritual awakening, spiritual journey, is that we go through a process of purification. And uh, a lot of times it's not pretty, it's very painful. And you, you go through a lot of things uh, so, but it's the recognition at certain point in your evolution, you realize that you are going through a process of purification. Prior to that, you may think that why are these things happening to me? Uh, I have bad luck, or you feel you may feel like you're a victim, but that's not it. Uh, you're going through a process of purification and all kinds of things may happen to you. 